Alien Nation, that's us! That's us right there, rank number one. I don't know if you can tell how happy I am, Booyah Nation, yo, but if you're down with the Booyah Nation, you're just so happy to see us up there in number one. Smash a big thumbs up, man. That's us right there, Booyah Nation. It's just one of the best feelings I've ever had as a gamer. Real quick, I just want to say I am not making this video because I think I'm some pro foot player. I think I'm some beast. No, 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 no. But at this time, at this moment, I was top ranked number one foot champion player. It was absolutely unreal. I believe I went 15 and one before I had to make this video and it was just an absolutely amazing feeling. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys, but I got number one in the world. This isn't regional, this isn't America, this isn't my state, this isn't the world. Booyah Nation, that's us right there. It's absolutely amazing feeling, man. And honestly, I'm making this video to let you guys know some tips that I use and some players I think are completely over overpowered now honestly man I think it's completely amazing to see one of us in the top and when I say one of us so many of us in the comments so many of us as youtubers and content creators we get a little bit of stick sometimes for sucking at the game so whether it's me or KSI or Nepenthes being in number one for a little bit it's pretty cool man to be able to show that like yo you know what look someone from the youth that makes YouTube videos is up there someone from the YouTube comments is up there it's just cool to see that the community we've built is actually a community that's decent at the game now I'm, I'm I'm not good. I'm, I got completely lucky to be there. And maybe it's because my team's really overpowered. I don't know. I do have a very strong team, okay? When I opened up FIFA packs, I was clever this time. I'm never clever in FIFA. See, this year, I didn't, because I wasn't posting pack openings and posting stuff like this, what I did was pretty much sell every single thing I got until I made loads of coins and I was doing bronze method. I was doing whatever I could, squad builder challenges to make as much money as I could to and then buy a couple legends to and then run them with my favorite player in the game and the most overpowered in player in the game goes by the name of Musa. I am running players like Ricosta, freaking Effingberg, I got freaking Desai in the back, and Musa is my striker alongside the Purple Sterling. Purple Sterling, anybody can achieve, and I truly believe that anybody can achieve Musa. Guys, this Musa card is unbelievable in foot, and he's probably the reason I even got close to being ranked number one foot player in the world for a while, well, foot champion player, is because, look, look at this Musa right here, yo. This guy just goes, okay? And the funny thing about it, and you guys are gonna laugh about this, I have Von Isteroid on the bench. I am playing Musa and Sterling over Von Nistaroid, an amazing 90 rated strike. I believe he's in the 90 or 89 rated in this game. I play Musa over him. Musa to me, guys, is just out of this world, man. He's unbelievable. The way he finishes, the, his speed, and the biggest thing, his acceleration off the ball, it's just unreal. So you're probably wondering how, what formation skills, what were you running? I ran a 4-3-1-2. And honestly, man, even though I'm in first place, or I, right now I'm tied in first place, but I was in first place for the longest time. But the reason I'm tied now is because I had to come make the video. So when I came to make the video, they're going to keep going and winning. And as they win, they get ahead of me and I'm no longer in first place. So I had to stop playing for a while. But as I was saying, I ran a 4-3-1-2 uh, to be able to get there. And my strikers were Sterling and uh, Musa with Rick Austin behind him. But more importantly, man, I see all these BPL teams. I just think to myself, how is nobody running this Musa card. This Musa card. He, he's actually, the reason I found out he was so OP and you guys, are, you're going to laugh at me, okay? You see my main record, okay? My main record is like 111 wins to like 30 losses or something like that. It's not a good record. Nowhere near a good record. Last year, I had like a thousand wins to 100 losses. It was unreal. This record sucks in my opinion. Now, with that being said, I can't win without Musa. Like, I literally need Musa. Musa is so strong in this game that I need him. I, he, he just helps me win games. Even if I run anybody beside him, it just makes the person better. Like, for example, my three favorite strikers in this game. I have Von Nistelrooy. I've Let me explain. I've played with Von Nistelrooy. I've played with Crespo. I've played with Weya. I've played with loads of legends. My favorite striker, first of all, Musa. Number two, Lewandowski. Number three, Dybala. Those are my top three strikers in FIFA 17. Musa, Lewandowski, Dybala. Lewandowski's unbelievable. I'm actually gonna purchase him back. I'm selling my legends to get Lewandowski back because he's just that good. But Musa is the real deal. During early access where I took most of my losses because the learning this game was a massive learning curve and I still don't think I know how to play it well. And corners, I just, I, you, this is why I'm making a video too. You guys have to tell me how to defend these corners, man. So hold on, if you guys have a technique, remember this because you're gonna have to tell me in a minute. But 
uh, Lewandowski's unreal, but Musa during early access, I found him. I threw him in my team after I got him out of a pack and I started playing when I was like, God, this guy's unbelievable. And I'm just, I ran right through divisions with him. Now, right now on my main account, I'm in division one. Uh, like I said, 111 wins and 30 losses and almost every single game is in divisions. The losses I've taken are in divisions. I'm in division one right now trying to win the title. So hopefully it's my first time in there. So hopefully I do win the title on first attempt. I don't know if I will. I've won every other title up to there. Um, but after the foot champ thing came out, I said, you know what? I'm going to spam some games. I didn't even think I was going to play many, but I was sitting here spamming and spamming and spamming. And uh, I started winning a lot. And then I jumped in Discord and Nep was like, yo, skills. I was like, what's up, dude? He's like, dude, you know you're number 10 in the world? I said, what? He goes, you know you're number 10 in the world in foot champ? I said, you got to be kidding me. And then I was like, wow. So I played a couple more games and I went to go look at the leaderboard and I was number one. I went back into Discord. I was like, Nep, I'm number one, dude. He's like, what? And I was like, what? And it was just mental to see, man, because a lot of times in the comments and stuff, I'll get loads of stick for like being a career mode YouTuber, can't play ultimate team, can't play online, career mode, career mode, career mode. And to be able to now see one of us, a career mode players, cause I play a lot of career mode. I play both a lot, man. I wouldn't say I'm just a career mode player. I play everything, but to see a career mode player to be number one for a little bit, it's pretty awesome. And people might look at him and be like, Scales, you're only number one cause you won a couple games. When I, when I was in number one, I was one, like I said, 15 wins, one loss. And that got me into the number one spot um, with the most wins at the time. Now I guarantee you, when I turn the game back on, somebody's probably gonna have like 20 wins because they, they just keep spamming games over and over and over. You have 40 games to, to uh, place. You have 40 games, 48 hours to place as high as you can place. That's what the Foot Champions is. And if you get Elite 1, you get a crazy, crazy, crazy prize. Now, am I going to get Elite 1? No. I, I'm, I'm hoping I get Elite 3. Um, I really hope. Like, if I get Elite 3 or Elite 2, that for me is a freaking accomplishment in itself. So, hopefully I can hit Elite 2. Anyway, some, or 3. Some gameplay I'm showing you here, man, is just games, like, you can see, I was up by 4-1 and, and and it's such it's such stressful gameplay and such hard gameplay that even when you're up 4-1 the players in there are so good that anything can happen i went up 5-2 and you're gonna see how this game ends it's unbelievable there's such good players in the foot champions but anyways man i played von Isledoid in this game and you can see he went he went he started going ham um and 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 like i said I, I spent a little bit of money in the beginning not for pack openings just for myself and i started selling everything that's what i did i used a couple fifa points to get me going and then i just started selling my entire club contract cards fitness cards and that's how i was able to make my coins regardless look at these corners right here man that right there is the biggest glitch in FIFA. I keep telling people this. I keep telling Nep. I keep telling everybody these corners are uh, stupid. You take it near post. I mean, you call your guy short. The guy comes short. You send it to the back post. He knocks it into the back of the net. It is one of the most overpowered, stupid corners in the world. I can't stand it. I can't believe it. I don't know why it's in the game. It's so damn annoying, and I hope they fix it. Um, right now, this screen I'm showing you, I'm actually... I was in first place with 15 wins as well. So this is the 13 wins this is from the beginning of the video, but I don't know if I have footage of when I was 15 wins in first place as well. But as I said, Musa, Lewandowski, Dybala, run yourself a 4-3-1-2. I did like the 4-3-3-4, I believe it. Whichever one connects the left wing and the, uh, the left forward and the right forward, excuse me, the left, right, right wing and left, left wing and right wing with the left back and right back, whatever one does that, the 4-3-3 that connects those, I like that formation as well. But right now I'm having a lot of success with the 4 3 one, two, because the one twos in this game are so overpowered. And then the most overpowered things has to be the corners to the back post. Call you guys short, put about three to four bars, set it to the back post. Your guy's gonna be standing. The keeper gets stuck to the ground like he's super glued to the floor. He doesn't move, and your guy, your, it's usually your center back, is in the back post by himself just chilling with an easy header. It's the most broken thing in FIFA right now. I hope they get it sorted. I'm not sure how they're gonna get it shorted, sorted, but I hope they do get it sorted ASAP. Also, near post corners, very OP. So if anybody knows how to defend these things, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, not making this video because I want to brag, not making this video because I want to throw it in people's face nothing like that man i simply won a couple games in a row got into first place and this feeling to me was one of the most remarkable feelings in the world when it comes to fifa guys i was playing the gameplay i was shaking son i was out here shaking like oh man i can get number one. Oh my god i'm in first it's just it's it's incredible it was an awesome feeling and i'm glad i get to share that with you guys so booyah nation man I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and I hope the tips I did give you kind of gives you a lane to run with. Just remember that, yeah, I have legends, but run yourself a team with Musa, man. Believe me when I tell you this Musa card is something serious. Play him beside a strong, a big striker, a strong striker. Play him beside whoever you want. Just know that Musa in a 4-1-2-1-2, a 4-3-1-2, Musa is going to dominate, man. He is going to create and dominate. He is a stud. With that being said, guys, yo, if you enjoyed this, man, and you think it's awesome that the Booyah Nation 
mentions in first place during when I'm making this video. Share this thing, man. Share it with your friends. Share it with everybody, baby. Smash your big thumbs up. We done it, baby. Man, we made it. And it feels awesome to be here, man. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Yo, we're at the top, man. That felt just awesome. I'm glad I got to share it with you. Boy, next, thank you guys for supporting me every single day in, out, in, out, in, day, sharing, supporting me day in, day out. That's how you say it. Speak English skills. Thank you for always supporting my videos here and on my vlog channel. You guys are the best, man. And I might possibly post another video today. It's a career mode. I'm not really sure, but I hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all be safe and peace. Yeah. The wait is over. FIFA 17 career mode. Bang, boys. I've been waiting so long to bring you this video, and it's finally here. Yes, United is the team we are doing. No, I did not pick Manchester United. I put out a straw poll for what league? BPL won. I did a video. I put out a straw poll for what team? Manchester United won. I swear down, if it was up to me, we'd be doing Liverpool or Man City. But they didn't win, so we're doing United. The only reason not that I dislike United. Matter of fact, I'm happy we're doing United because Ibra, Pugba, we have great players. I'm just sad we're doing a team we already done again. It would have been fun to do City or Liverpool. Regardless, hopefully this United Carimbo is going to be one of the best ones we've ever uploaded. That's what I'm aiming for, to give you guys the most best and most entertaining content. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Remember, don't be mad at me. I